Hello and welcome to the show. We are here today on GTA 5 for another Survive the Hunt. The aim is simple. I must try to survive for 24 hours of game time while blowing up as many prees as possible. And when we're done with the time, I have to try and escape from the city. Uh, we're going to start at quarter past eight. Sure, why not? Uh, this lot are going to be giving chase, of course. Uh, there is no map, there is no name over players. It is a game of stealth, and then a game of frantically running away when you eventually get made. Uh, <laughs> we'll see how it goes in this one. I will point out, this is a vehicle I won from the casino. For, I haven't played GTA for a while uh, before filming this. Uh, it's the first time I used a casino wheel spin for ages. Won this thing, and it has the world's worst livery. Like, it, it, well, it was supposed to be bright green. I changed it to orange because, you know, fail race. What is this livery? Why would you ever think this looked good? It's terrible. I actually quite like the, what is it, the Red Blood GTA. It's quite a nice vehicle to drive. I've had some fun racing these, I think. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's at the world's just the world's worst livery, you apps. Well, I mean, I was going very fast. But <laughs> I don't quite know why you needed to change direction that much. I digress. We have prees to blow up. There's a bunch of them. I do have a map of all their locations. Uh, there will hopefully be a link to it in the description if you want to go and play along. Uh, the pre-locations, I had a cursory look before we started, are very mean. They are very, very mean indeed. Uh, there's one on the beach, there's a bunch sort of towards the north, and there's a bunch... Well, there's one in, There's one actually in the docks that we start at. Um, there's one in a petrol station not far from where we start. Uh, there's a lot of... a lot of difficult ones to get to, essentially. So, I'm not sure what order, what target we're going to have here. I'm also not... I mean, the spawn set is really... It's Muppavas, Staniers, and Gauntlets. There's a Buccaneer or two. I don't really know what I want. I don't really want to drive a Muppava again, because they're going to expect that almost. There really is nothing. Okay, the Gauntlet's good, but that's a Tier 2 car. We're using that a tier system. That means if I get spotted while driving it, they have access to aircraft, which I don't really want to give them access to if I can help it. Um, but, of course, the Gauntlet is quite fast. The Mopova is one of the stronger Tier 1 vehicles, but it is so commonly used at the moment that it is likely they would check, they will check, a lot, they'll check them a lot more. Uh, Staniers are slow, but probably won't get looked at very much. But if you do get looked at, you get you struggle to get away. Uh, there's a super diamond. There's an Audi doing crazy things. Wow, I mean, I'm just looking for anything, something, anything that might work here. I've got a weird way into the city, just trying to find. It's gonna have to be a. It's gonna have to be a muff. Like, like, genuinely, it's that or a Stanier, and I know what I'd rather have in a chase. If things go wrong, wow, it is garbage spawn set. Absolutely garbage. Eh. Uh, I mean, there are some prees located in the hills. I could maybe start trying to head that way. Possibly. Well, I'm, I'm really scrounging for cars. Uh, right. It's going to have to be... Yeah, we're, gonna, we're just going to have to bite the bullet. Just... Oh, I don't think I scratched that one. Never mind. There's another one. <laughs> There's so many of them. Scratch one of them. Another one comes along 30 seconds later. Excuse me. Don't mind me. I just need your car for important, uh, important mission. We have we have got a a very important mission, and that is to blow up some prees. Right. Return the vehicle to storage. We might as well go up this hill. Why not? Because uh, oh, we do need to go up here anyway. Uh, where's the road? Uh, well, I mean, there's a road close to here. Uh, right, let's go and sort out our appearance, because we can't go around looking like this, can we? Uh, uh, sure, it's, 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 it's just generic, boring, blending in clothes. Now, there is... So, there is a pre by the hotel. There is a pre... Up by the dam, which is a bit awkward to get to. It's quite a long way away from everything. I believe this... Does this drive... Oh, I had hoped that driveway led... I don't know why I thought that driveway led us all the way around. So, yeah, we're going to take a little bit of a tour. I mean, it's relatively safe up here. This is my thinking, right? When the hunters are released, they are unlikely 
to go checking this area. There is one in very awkward place. Uh, don't know what's going on there. Not going to ask questions. Uh, <laughs> so there is one in an incredibly awkward place up at the uh, kind of uni... Is it, is it up there, basically. Uh, there's a little car park up at the top, and I believe it is placed in there. That is a difficult thing to get to. Uh, that is a very difficult one to get to. Um, actually, there's no point me for. There's not really much point in me following traffic rules, right? Because at this point, no one's searching this area at this stage of the hunt, right? There's no reason you would be searching this area unless you had a very good reason. Unless, unless I'd blown up this car that we're about to head to. If, if I'd exploded it, you might think I'd be using this as a, as a way to get out. Um, I should have actually gone down one of the lower roads, but never mind. Uh, this is kind of my, like, northern border of the map. Uh, they know I can use this road, and I mean, I guess you, you would definitely check this if I was trying to get out of this area, but for now, it's gonna have to... This is... This, this should be safe for me to bomb it along. They don't have aircraft yet. Uh, they, don't have, they don't have an aircraft up in the sky, so... No... Th no threat of being seen from that. Uh, the jackal or whatever it was was being a bit weird. That's fine. It doesn't. That doesn't really matter. So the location. There's a little, like a dead end road uh, up here. Uh, to some sort of you know fancy houses just a, in, above the dam. The car is in there now. How I get out from here is difficult uh, because there's only really two ways to get to it. Well, we can either go left or right. I feel like going right and heading down towards a main area is probably what I want to do. This is where we actually wanted to turn. I was busy looking at the map trying to plan my escape and missed my turning slightly. Uh, I think this is where I want to turn, isn't it? Uh, if it's not here... Yeah, it is here. There we go. Because if it's not here, I'm really in trouble. Right. Okay. Pre-located. Uh, right. Lester, my good friend, are you going to work for me today? I mean, unless one of these houses has a helicopter, which I don't think they do, uh, we are going to have... Oh, hello. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. Uh, we are getting out of here now. Uh, yeah, so the best bet is, I think the best bet for us is going to be to bomb that car we want to get a move on. Now, they aren't going to be immediately at the front door, right? They're not going to be immediately here. If I can follow this road down, I say relatively quickly, we will have to chill at some point because they are going to now be firing cars up the hills to get to us. Uh, what I'm thinking is go this way. It's... It, the problem we have here is it's safer, but it takes us further away from other cars. It really... Puts us on a... Actually, am I even going where I want to go? Uh, not really, actually. I might be going a slightly bit too far away from where I want to go. Uh, we can probably... Oh, yeah, we're kind of going out of bounds a little bit. Uh, right, I'm going to... As punishment for... Go Didn't quite realise how far out of bounds this went up that way. Uh, as punishment, I'm going to say we have to get back into the area by going rapidly downhill, although this does semi-work in terms of whoop, uh, it does get us, it gets us into position in a, please don't scrape relatively nice way it gets us in a position whereby we can filter back into traffic now, we're certainly no means out, no no way out of the out of the woods yet. They know we've got to get down from the hills. So there is a car. Uh, do we go? Hmm. So there's a car by the cinema. That would be Bumpies. Do I go that way? They might. They might expect that. Although I'm going to doubt it. Uh, our other options, there's really nothing close by. Our other options entail heading back. Oh no, I know where we could head. 
So one of our options is to head back towards the docks and blow up the pre by the petrol station. So the petrol station, although... Uh, we'll give it a try. Petrol station that I'm thinking of is opposite the repair shop that is frequently visited. I'm not going to say it's always visited, but it is quite frequently visited by the hunters. So it is a slightly dangerous one to go and try and blow up. Uh, I don't know how busy... So, like, I don't want to sit in this traffic, but I'm just not sure how many hunters may be about when they start uh, trying to figure ways out. I'm not waiting for you. I'm sorry, but I'm in a little bit of a rush. Uh... <laughs> I say that my 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 hope is is that if I can if I can sort of get around quickly or quickly enough to keep them chasing their tails without it being so quick that we get spotted if one drives past us that is the ultimate goal is to keep them chasing chasing their tails now the downside I'm going to have here is I called Lester relatively recently and we are not going to be able to do that again one of them has abandoned a tour bus here uh, I doubt this. Although if it's still spawned, they must be relatively close. Guess it, can it be a personal vehicle? I don't know whether these can be personal vehicles these days. Uh, I can't remember what can. <laughs> it might be someone's personal vehicle. Uh, so who knows? I mean, if we blow up this one at the, if we blow up the one at the petrol station, we can escape away. We can escape around the back kind of direction. So what I'm thinking is, is if we, if we escape, so basically we're turning left. If we go, what would be straight on here, we're going to turn into petrol station. But if we went straight on up there, we can get back on a motorway quite quickly. Uh, so there is that. Now I am hoping. Oh, God. So we are sticking with the Mopova. We haven't been made. We haven't been spotted. They won't know what car I'm in. Right. We can stick that one on the door. So I'm hoping... I'm gambling on Lester paying attention to his phone today because I'm not going to be able to do a cop's turn a blind eye. It will not be available as of yet. But uh, I'm hoping I can blow the car up and then remove wanted level. Uh, <laughs> that's the goal here. Uh, okay, Lester, my good friend, do be helpful here. Uh, okay, we can remove wanted level. Right, that is one of the major concerns dealt with. Right, so we've got away quite nicely from that one. Now, logic would dictate that I go for one of the other prees close by, but that's the sort of logic that gets you killed during a survive the hunt. Um, because if you go for all the close... They, they, will, they will guess, they will try and predict where I'm going to go, and going to a close-by pre is a good shout, because if I want to blow up a lot quickly, that's the way you do it. Uh, my goal is to get as far away as possible. Uh, can I not get on mo oh, I can't get on the motorway here. Mm, that's bad. I've, I thought we were one junction further along and we're not. Uh, I mean, okay, it's not the end of the world, actually, because there is another pre in couple of prees over here. There's one kind of in gang territory. It's close to Grove. It's not quite in the Grove Street bit, but it's along that way. There was the security pre. Murder to Stania. Uh, actually, if we just follow this road around, is it by the big petrol station? Have we got another petrol station one to blow up? Maybe. Possibly. Um, yeah, I think if we go if we go past the hospital and around the back there's another pre somewhere over there that I'm going to try and aim for. Uh, not completely sure where it is, but we can go for it. And they might... I mean, it is it is relatively close. So if I said, you know, they are thinking about where I'm going, they might have a pondery. Is there a truck crashed over there? The AI are super derpy tonight. The AI are super, super derpy tonight. Uh, there is a pink machine! Whizzing about. A pink mabavu has gone flying past. Uh, okay. Okay, no, it's not. A, it wasn't a crashed truck. It was just a stricken truck. Or just, sorry, not even. It wasn't a stricken truck. It was just stopped at a set of lights. <laughs> Quite different things, really. So here, if we go left and then right, there should be a pre waiting for us. Uh, 
in theory. Don't quite know. It might be slightly further around the corner. Can I see any hunters? I mean, honestly, I'm half tempted to dive in that alleyway. Any hunters around? I can't see any at the moment. We'll dive in here. Because... Is it where I think it is? Just like outside here? I'm not sure. Oh, put that away. Okay, it is outside the strip club, right. Uh, hmm. Oh, crap. Hmm. I can't imagine I got away with that. I can't imagine I got away with that particularly well. I feel like my best course of action is going to be detonate the pre and try and sneak myself away uh, a direction they might not be expecting. Uh, right, it's, it's quick... It's quick escape time. Now, I've got a wanted level and there was an armoured car about, so I'm going to hazard a guess I can't call it off at this point. Uh, my hope is, is by diving in a car park, I can lose the wanted level quickly. Now, this is a big hope, and there's certainly no guarantee this is going to work. One of the real downsides with this plan is uh, police cars will surround the building, and that will potentially lead them towards me. There isn't much better in terms of ideas, though, here. Uh, I mean, I guess... Uh, no, I know what would... Uh, see, so what do you do? If, you, if, I, if I try and get out on foot, I run the risk of the police spotting me and me getting killed. If I don't run out on foot... I mean... If we just park the car and duck... Police go away. Police go away. They definitely know the area I'm in. And the real problem for me is this works to get rid of the police. Uh, oh, I, I didn't actually really check Lester. I just assumed it wasn't going to work. Okay, we have got rid of the cops. Uh, that, I mean, we needed to do that. Now, there is a way out of here. I know there is a way out of this car park onto the roof by the Bincident. Now... The difficult part for me is, can we... Can we do any of this safely? It's definitely... It's definitely people around. And even if I get out by the Bincident locale, there isn't a great way out of the Bincident, as I found out when we did it before. So yeah, we can get out onto that roof. Oh, that's an RPG. Well, <laughs> you know what? That's going to have to do. <laughs> it's always Stevie. <laughs> it's always, it's always Stevie every time. Now, my plan is, is still this slightly crazy one. Uh, is still out into the Bincident location. Uh, well... There is one of them. Uh, can we... Oh, I can't take them out. Uh, that's my plan. I've seen my plan. I have a new plan. It's a bit of a risky one. But this could be glorious if it works. Go, 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 go. That speed is of the essence. <laughs> It's not the best getaway vehicle I could have picked. It's not the best bike I could be using. Uh, but at the end of the day, it's going to be a damn sight faster than just about any car that would be on offer. Here we go. Time to vacate the scene of the crime. Oh, police with shotguns. Duck and weave. Duck and weave. Uh, time to go, bike. Time to go. Time to go. <laughs> <laughs> it's always Stevie. <laughs> right. 
Uh, now, we can change direction. The real advantage of a bike, the joy of a bike, is the change of direction in this is insane. They are not going to be able to match how well a bike can turn. They will match it top speed wise, and I'm pretty sure a bike will jump us up to level two, tier two. They will have vehicles, they will have aircrafts about. Uh, that armored car, I'm gonna guess one of the players has stolen it, perhaps. Uh, now there is a truck directly behind us. Not ideal for us to have to deal. God, I don't need to break anywhere near as much uh, when I am going around the corners here. There is a bus. It would be funny if one of them was in that. Uh, I don't think they were. Right, come on, bike. Let's go. Let's go. This has not quite gone the way I wanted it to, but we are resorting to blinding speed with a bike to hopefully get us away. Uh, get that corner done. Uh, now, can I blow There's not really anything close by here to blow up while I'm on a bike. There's a part of me that's tempted just to go Banzai for it and just go blow up some vehicles while I'm on a bike, while they are scrambling. Uh, it's not necessarily the worst idea I've ever come up with. This is the terrible idea, uh, trying to buy explosives while racing full speed through the streets. So we know there's a vehicle up by the cinema. I have slightly come up here wrong. But, let's go for it. There's no sign of anybody behind us. Now, I say realistically, I should ditch the bike and go in a car and we can go back to blending in. Every time, every second I'm on this bike is a dangerous time. Uh, whereabouts is it though? There is a car up here. I think it's on the other side though. I'm not sure if it's down by the limo. Maybe? Whereabouts is it? Or is it further along? I thought it was up where I thought I, I kind of guessed where it was going to be placed and it's not exactly where I thought it was um, crap unless he's unless bumpy has actually put it in there oh they have okay well that was a terrible throw but it'll do the job uh, <laughs> right okay time to vacate time to vacate. Uh, let's get away from there. Bike. We're going for it. We're going for... Uh, no, there wasn't really one in the hills. It wasn't really worth going up into here. Uh, particularly, especially because they're going to be looking for me up here. This is where you would expect me to go at this point, And there isn't any reason really to. Uh, other than I want to traverse along towards the hotel car park. Uh, where we can potentially go and explode another vehicle. Uh... We will try this. Uh, where can we get spat out that's kind of close? Got to be careful, though, because if I spot a car coming towards me and we get knocked off the bike, uh, that will be death. That will be game over, really. And they are going to, they are going to want to check the hills at this point. They, they, are, they, are, they are aware of my plans, I suspect. Uh, right. We come up by the Eclipse Towers. Is it going to put me where I want it to put me? Oop. Uh, not sure. Hey, okay, we landed that one relatively well. Uh, do I... Where am I? I think we can drop our way down here, can't we? Oh, that's a tree. Uh, I think this will put us on roughly the right path. Four. Yep, this puts us on roughly the right path. Uh, now I'm tempted to go... Hey, it's in here somewhere. There it is. Uh, I am very tempted to go up to the university. However, that is a bit of a dead end. And with the, the direction of travel, the spree that we are currently on, that feels like a really risky thing to do. If we can head down towards the docks, this has gone for a completely new strategy currently. Uh, we have just gone for, let's use blinding speed on a motorbike. Uh, and it proves... It, well, I say, it, it's such a big risk at this point. Every pre I blow up like this, the risk just gets better. There is a car following us. There is another car has just come out of the movie studios. So they're starting to triangulate where we are uh, a little bit. Uh, we are trying to use everything. The, the top speed is going to let us down if we aren't careful. Here. Woo! Police car! I thought that was a normal car. Yep, that's going to kill us if we're not careful. Uh, right. 
Uh, whoop, well, that stopped. That stopped instantly. Not in a way that I expected it to. Uh, right. Through here we go. Uh, and we can do this because I'm on a bike. I uh, <laughs> wouldn't take those sort of risks in a car. But uh, come on, bike. Accelerate quicker. Accelerate quicker. There was a very narrow gap there, but we had to shoot for it. Please don't have any of those, like, bike stands suddenly appear because that would be the death of us. Oi! And there's another narrow gap to aim for. This is terrifying. I know why I don't normally like to go for bikes. It's glorious when it works, but dear God, is it dangerous when it's, well, the half working. Let's go with half working at the moment, because that's really what is happening. Wheelie, wheelie, wheelie. I think wheeling is a little bit faster. Uh, <laughs> Christ, it's absolute madness trying to do this. You are just weaving through every little gap that you can find. I could probably do with Lester. Lester, my good man, I require assistance again. I don't don't try and get on the phone while a high-speed bike pursuit. Oh, we're back here again. And it was nice here. I like this area. This was cool. Yep, let's do that. Please go away, police. I don't want to have to deal with you anymore. Uh, right. Can we? Don't crash, don't crash, don't crash. Change direction and wheelie forward. I can't really wheelie backwards, can we now? But let's go. Did they see where I went? Let's turn off all lights. Lights off. Uh, I don't know. I don't know whether they did or not. Now, is there, there's a vehicle... Blew up that one. There's a well. I mean, do we head towards the Simian docks? I mean, we're kind of made anyway. Actually, that's not the bad. That's not the worst. I Simian docks are really difficult to get out of. If we go blow that one up while we are clear, I mean, we've still got a good amount of time. Uh, so that car didn't even see us. Either that or it was a player, it was, that was an AI car with smashed up lights. I mean, the maybe the night running on a bike is difficult to track with lights off. That's possible. That car there surely is going to see us. Are we just invisible? We're just like a blur. We've found a new hack. I mean, that looked like one of them, and that's, that's okay. We haven't found a completely new hack. Uh, <laughs> do we? No, not going to risk it. I was thinking it's it's tempting, but that is a very big risk at that stage. Because if they do block the exit, we would just be pinned and there would be nothing that we could do to get out of there. Now, another downside of the bike is you cannot go through the scenery like a car can. Um, oh, I really wanted to get that one down there, but that's just not worth the risk at that point. That's just really not worth the risk there. Uh, it's such a huge danger. To, to go into it in going into a dead end. Oh, well, I don't know where that car was paying attention. I think the bike must be super tough to see. Uh, I mean, if we can somehow, I don't know how I'm going to be able to do it, but if we can somehow get ourselves across the map, we can get to. I mean, we can whiz along here at good speed. We can get to maybe even the university bit. Whoa, no, that's danger. Hello, don't mind me. Don't mind me. Ah, oh, no, I don't want to be on. Don't want to be on a motorway against the the rolls. That thing's fast. That thing's very fast in a straight line. Uh, motorway would be a bad thing for me to be. God, I saw a car shoot the other way. Uh, I didn't want to run into a car, so we're having we're trying to like corral them into different places. Uh, I know how this chase ends, I know how this hunt ends, and it is with me crashing a bike. But up until that point, I think we're locked into this strategy now. Uh, we have got an absolutely insane plan. Uh, now there is... Uh, what have we got? Any more pre's that I can think of to get to easily? I mean, not really. We've blown up a good number. The buses coming across there is dangerous. Whoop. Alright, I guess we're going this way now. I can't let the rolls get close in terms like we can't go straight oh did not realize there was one there uh well that works for me <laughs> didn't realize there was one there at all 
uh, realised that very, very late. Uh, Utilised a little bit of turning, and we are through and we are away. Uh, right. Okay, that wasn't what I was going for. That was a happy accident right there. I did slow down way too much, but we've got we've got another one exploded. Uh, right, change direction, please, bike. Cling to life. I mean, the other thing we've got to do is, at some point, we have got to try and get out of the city. And I don't know how we're doing that. I don't know how we... Because we'll have to end the chase. And after that point... Oh, this is probably not the place to go. Uh, I'm, I'm thinking there's a lot of street furniture around for me to hit. Uh, okay, duck and weave. Uh, I can see lights behind us. Um, yeah. To end the chase here is not going to be easy. Oh. Small heart attack occurred. Actually, quite a large heart attack occurred at that point. Uh, right, bike. We're going to have to use a car. Normally, I would utilise and I would run big risks running into oncoming traffic, trying to make accidents, but I can't risk that. You do that with a car and you'll survive it. Uh, you do that with a bike and you won't. Oh, I knew there was a car right behind me. I was, I knew it was there. I was hoping. I mean, that was a, it was a huge gamble what I did there. It was wait until the last second and change direction. Uh, if it goes wrong, I get run over. Like, it, it's as simple as that, really, there. Um, no, there, oh, I thought that was a security car. It wasn't. Uh, right. Do we reckon they followed me in here? Uh, I mean, we can just jump off the roof. This was more as a break of what do I, where do I want to go next? Uh, I mean, I don't think they would have seen us go in here. Where do we want to head next? I don't know. I don't know whether I can wheelie over the wall and do that and go. Um, yeah, where where do we want to head? What is going to be our grand plan here? I mean, we can take a brief pause in the city. We've still got quite a lot of time. I say what? Yeah, we've got a good amount of time. There is pre in the dock. There's one somewhere in, in in sort of the gang territory. I'm just not quite sure whereabouts in the gang territory it is. And then there is somewhere over there. There is a pre. There are sirens around. I'm trying to figure out where those sirens are coming from. Without jumping off. Okay, an ambulance. Don't know if that's a player one. No, that is an actual AI natural one. That would be a hunter down there, the Primo. <laughs> they are running over every bike they see, and I don't blame them at this point. Uh, what is the betting? Bumpy is about to go steal an ambulance. I mean, I probably shouldn't sit on the roof watching this unfold, but it is quite funny to see. Uh... No, nope, there is a lot. There is a lot of searching going on. That is definitely not the bike that I was on, folks. Right. Do I ditch the bike? I mean, <laughs> this is one of those. Do I ditch it and try and blend till the end of this? We have got quite a long time to go. I mean, we could make a run for the docks from here. By the looks of it, no one followed us up the car park, right? So we went up here as a sort of pursuit breaker. If I could guarantee... You no, know, we would never make that jump. I was going to say, if we could guarantee jump off there and get onto the motorway, but even if we wheelie and bounce it off the wall, you're not making it up there. Uh, so there's no reason why I would want to risk that. It'd be very, it would be amazing if we could do it. I'd love to be able to do it, but that's just not going to happen. So no one followed us in here. No one followed us up this up this bit. There are sirens around still. Uh, so yeah, I went into this one. I knew I had the safety if I can jump off the roof. If things get emergency situation, if someone did follow us up. They didn't, so we are safe. Let's just have a little look. Can't see much from here. So we either make a... Banzai run to the docks and try and blow that one up. I feel like I want the bike to get to the docks. Because I'm getting out of there is going to be hell. It's really difficult to blend in. 
both of the the ones the two I've left are really difficult to get to. Right. Here we go. No time like the present to make a run for it. Uh so yeah, we're going we're going to sprint to the docks. Yep, and we're going to run into one immediately. Uh good luck. I swear they just don't notice the bike sometimes. Now, it is possible. I mean, we are, we are running dark. You know, we've got no lights on. We do that with the cars as well. It's possible, I guess, if you're looking another way. Because it's, such a, it's a small blur of motorbike that goes past. I'm heading this way because I'm thinking it's going to keep me out of line of sight. At least four or five cars we have shot past. I mean, trucks and other assorted goodies. How have I... I don't know how I've got away with that. Like, we should be in stacks of trouble here. We're finding a new meta. I say we're finding a new meta until we get hit off the bike and instantly killed. That's... I mean, that is the, that is the huge danger attached to this. Uh, we are barreling along like a lunatic. I mean, if we... If we ditch the bike and try and go incognito to the last one... Actually, this I've done this a little bit backwards. This would have been a better one to save till the end. I was more thinking about the dangers of getting stuck. There are more ways out up up the university bit. I, don't, I, I presume it's a university. I'm not 100% sure. There are more ways out of that bit than there are here. The docks there is literally one road. Uh, crap. <laughs> oh, for God's sake. I was already committed at that point. Uh, now, we are going to have to go for a very dangerous... That, that'll do. That will do nicely. Uh, okay, explode that. Now get out of the docks as fast as possible. Uh, I do not want to get penned in down here. We know there's at least one car down that way. Uh, Lester, where are you, good buddy? There's one car, I can see it in the background. Oh! <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> That's the danger right there. Good effort from someone. At night time, that's so difficult to see. Uh, they've got gauntlets. So, I mean, so by now they have upgraded all of their cars. They've now got faster vehicles giving chase. Uh, it's going to be tougher for me to get something else and try and get away, uh, which is uh, yet to be all to be expected. That was unintentional, but I'm going to utilize it. Didn't mean to go this way. However... If we're going to get slowed down by clipping a sign, I might as well you whoa, might as well use it to my advantage. There was a fa I didn't know if I could get out because they were fencing around. I don't know this area. I might get stuck being unable to push through fencings and the like. Uh, don't know if you're a player or not. Going to dodge you carefully anyway. Uh, right, I think we utilised some alleyways there to very good effect. Right, run, 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 run back this way. Back we go. Uh, right, can we get to? I'm, to be honest, I'm having to glance at the map so briefly, I might be missing a pre along the way. I, like, I, there could genuinely be... Like, I didn't even realise there was one at Simeon's. That's, uh, well, that's the, that's the level we're looking at. Oh, God, that car got very close. I missed my turning slightly. That got very close. I mean, they are just launching vehicles at me, which is what you've got to do. Uh, if they can get me off the bike, it would be very helpful for them. I'm not sure this was really the ideal getaway plan, but we are kind of out of immediate horrific danger. Uh, well, actually, no, we know there's one over here somewhere. I just, I can't look for it at the moment. There's too much going on for me to be looking for a pre in the gang territory. So my best bet is going to be head towards the uni. So yeah, there will at least be one... Well, unless we manage to blow the uni one up and, and a miracle escape somewhere. God. <laughs> they swarmed us there. Ugh. We managed to make the most of that. Christ. I don't think we're going to get... Like, we are riding our luck at this point. We are full-on riding our luck here. At some point, we are going to get hit by cross-traffic. And that's going to be the end of us. But we have got away with it at the moment. Okay. Here we... It's the, I mean, they might have... They might be guessing what we're doing. 
they might think I'm heading up this way now. Because I've clearly driven away from the um, gang territory. So I'm probably not going for that one. The only other target for me to go for is up here. Uh, right. Bounce along on the bike. I mean, this isn't, even, this isn't the craziest, fastest bike you're going to come across. But we are making it work for us. Now, what I want to do here is not crash on the approach. That would be very helpful. Uh, now, if mm, there is a way we can get down... Do Okay, so they are 100% thinking I'm sold on this bike strategy. There's a little bit of me that is contemplating is contemplating a sneaky whoa walk there is a path out the back of the uni i'm on i mean i'm on a bike i could drive down it there's a path out the back of the uni that goes down towards um the like petrol station area i don't quite know how to get to it because funnily enough i never go to it uh right cops turn a blind eye okay now, this could end very poorly for me, uh, or it could work excellently. Uh, now, I, mean, I know, because it, it drops us off into a car park, and my thinking is, if I can get into that car park and swap my vehicle and, and I go in a car, they're just going to be super busy looking at bikes. I think this is the path I was looking for. Um... And yeah, if I can get to this car park, I can ditch the bike, say job done, to the wonderful motorbike. And then we can be incognito for the rest of it. Because they will be looking for a... Oh, no. Okay, it was an idea, it was an idea, it didn't quite work as I wanted it to. Back to plan A! Well, this was about plan, I don't know, G at this point. Uh, <laughs> the plan was never a motorbike. I wanted to be incognito, but it didn't work, so we had to shoot some. We actually did some decent shooting there. Uh, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. We've only got a couple of hours to survive. I mean, I don't know. I don't know if they were completely... I don't know whether they recognised me. I was about to try and change into something closed, because we've been running in the same clothes for so long. I was trying to change into something different. just didn't get time to, because it was immediately... Immediately people on us there. I mean, they worked, they worked out my plan pretty well, actually. Uh, it's... I mean... It, yeah, you would you would potentially think that I would do it. I, it's it's whether they whether they can second guess my plan, or whether they whether they can't for a lot of these. Hey, hello. And sometimes they figure it out. Sometimes they don't. Uh, the they they did on that one. They really did on that one. They figured out what I was wanting to do. I really wanted to get in a car and just blend in afterwards. I didn't want to grab the bike, but there were so many of them. There were at least Bumpy, or well, the ambulance, I presume it was Bumpy in that, uh, was there. There was at least two other cars that turned up as well, which is not good. Now, I don't think anything is following us at the moment. Hey, hello, everyone. Uh, we will need like a gauntlet or something because they are all going to have gauntlets uh, yeah we will we will 100% need a gauntlet of some kind but my front my lights have got smashed when did I do that maybe on a jump I don't think we've amazingly I don't think we've hit anything through all of this um, we can go have a look for the last pre uh, it is, if we head left, I mean, and then down here, and it's somewhere, oh, there it is, there it is, I think this is the last pre, as far as I'm aware, 
I think that's the last pre. Uh, now, I could be very wrong. Oh, could we do something truly glorious here? Uh, oh, there's not really going to be a way to do this, is there? Uh, oh, what is going on there? I know what I wanted to do in terms of a plan. I can't do it. I was going to try and jump on the train because uh, we could have almost ridden it out, but uh, not quite. God damn it. Damn and blast and all of that. Whee! I can make this corner and I bet you can't. We might still be able to get back towards that train and somehow jump onto it. Because uh, we know it's just been spawned. We can see it's still there. Oh, Chris is right. I presume it's Chris. He's right there. Well, uh, nope. I <laughs> can't do it. Uh, I mean, I know there is. Oh, wait. Hold on. Train, hurry up. Train, hurry up. Oh, yes! <laughs> right. Where is the assault rifle? Oh, God. Bullets are pinging at us. We'll just get them to try and duck. Okay, train. Go, 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 go. Train, get us out of here. Get us out of here. Whatever you do. Uh, whatever you do, get us out of here. Uh, oh, crouch. Uh, this is going to become... An absolutely crazy chase now. Come on! Uh, you can go down, Bumpy. Oh! Ow, ow. This is a, a full-on cinematic... No! Danger Man got us! Oh, where they got on the train? <laughs> oh, so, there's so many to deal with. There is so many to deal with. That is the problem with a train escape if they see it. I think we went for a cool escape. And... Yeah, there's, there was so many around that they can just swarm the train. I think even if we'd killed Bumpy, it's a little bit too easy to climb on the train at that particular point. <laughs> I went for the cool points. I went for the cool points and it didn't quite work. Oh, we were so close. We were so, so close for making it work. Um, however, yeah, there's just so many around there. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I don't think you realistically could get away at that point. Um, like with that many around on the train, it'd be so tough to kill to kill enough. They did a very good job, actually. They did a very good job of organising and getting that and getting that set up. Uh, yeah, I, <laughs> we tried to be a little bit too cool, and we, I can't believe we got the bike on the train. Everything was great. But uh, there was just too many of them swarming around. And I, I th that, that train, the amount of carriages, was not ideal for me in terms of, in, in, in terms of dealing, in, in terms of them being able to jump on it quite easily. Uh, but uh, slightly disappointed that we, didn't, that we didn't get it. The bike was unbelievably good. Some very close calls along the way. Uh, but there you have it. What a crazy, what a wacky, what an absolutely ridiculous survive the hunt. Um, that's, uh, we got, we exploded, I think. I'm just trying, just checking on the map if I missed any of the pre's. I think we exploded all of them, to be honest. Uh, I don't think any pre survived. Uh, however, we were unable to escape at the end of all that, which is a massive shame. Look, you wanted to see me try and do a trade escape, and we tried it, and you see the immense hazards with it. Uh, it probably wasn't the most efficient of train escapes that we could have done, could have gone for. Uh, admittedly, it didn't have far to go to get out of the map, but we were surrounded by so many. It made it very, very awkward, uh, which is a, a shame. But there you have it. Well, on that, I'd say terrible disappointment, but it was a good, it was a good hunt. It was, I, I, I think so. It was good fun. Bike was terrifying. That is going to be the end of, of this. It's going to be it for this video. Thank you all very much for watching. And until next time, a goodbye.